So something really cool has happened. As I was walking across the field with Richard to see that guy's coins, I found this little piece of amber and I thought nothing of it. I just thought it was a little piece of scrap thing. I saw it on the ground. And I've just took a closer look with these guys and it turns out it's off some Roman jewelry and it's actually got a head on it. Hello ladies and gents. Today I'm going to be going on a massive adventure to Solly's Farm in Ripple where there's a charity metal detecting event and I'm going to be searching for some treasure and seeing what they're digging up there. Whilst well, my friend Georgie is going to be doing the hard work delivering historic walking tours along the Dill Seafront. I'll catch you later then George. Yeah, you have fun. We've done this before haven't we? We have. Yeah, yeah. see you later mate, bye. Bye bye. And whilst I'm driving to the farm, let me tell you about our sponsors today, Connect You Business. If you run a business and you're from Kent, you're in luck. Connect You Business are a specialist broker that can get you the cheapest deals on energy, gas, mobiles, land loans and payment solutions. I have been told by the owner of Connect You Business that if you run a business and you're from Kent, they can 100% of the time save you money. So all I've got to say is, what have you got to lose? Get hold of them now. Let's get on with the show. So I've arrived here at Solly's farm. It's a pretty awesome place. I'm sat on an aerodrome where presumably he lands in his aircraft. There's a maze maze behind me, a children's play area, and of course the world famous Solly's ice cream. I'm gonna go and look for Richard who organized this event soon. Just taking a second to soak it all in. I think I'm gonna go that way and then we'll be on to the detectorist to see what they've been digging out the ground. There's a lot of history here in Ripple, so I'm mega excited to see what's gonna be dug up. There's a lot of detectorists here too, so the chances of us seeing something cool today is quite high, I think. So far. An old penny, good 80, start. 80 yeah. years old penny. Wonderful, yes. 80 year old penny, lovely. Yeah. So far. <laughs> Here I am with Richard Yates who organised this great charity event. What's this all about Richard? Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, so basically we're raising money for Martha Trust, which is a charity for children and adults with profound learning and physical disabilities. Um, and uh, we're at Solly's Farm over in Ripple. Uh, he's got an ice cream business, he makes ice cream here. And uh, he's got a nice big farm that's all just been ploughed. And we've got three local clubs here. So we've got the Invicta Club, we've got the White Cliffs Club, and we've got the Saxon Shore Club. Um, all local to this area and they've all come together to raise money for Martha Trust. That's awesome, what a wonderful way to raise money for charity. So there's a lot of history here in Ripple. What are you hoping to knock off your bucket list find today? Well, a gold ring is what I'm waiting for. I have had a gold coin the other day, um, and gold, gold ring is where I'm still waiting. I did an old gold, a gold ring, maybe four, five, six hundred years old. Awesome. Um, <laughs> that's a bit of a dream, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know, mate, that's the thing. So. I'm not going to keep Richard too much longer because you can see he's got his detector there and he wants to get to it and I actually brought my detector in my van as well and I quite fancy giving him a bit of a swing today and I'm just going to be running around doing a bit of filming looking at what people find so let's get on with that shall we. Richard thank you. Nice one, thanks a lot, cheers. So I've just been given a shout out and someone's found some cool stuff so I'm going to go over and find out what all the excitement's about. Right, something's been found already then, Richard. Yeah, yeah, one of the guys has found two coins. He's found that one, which he, that we think is an Edward I half groat. Wow, that's Silver amazing. Silver hammered coin. Let's just hold that up for the camera to see. Yeah, yeah what was the other one? And then the other one is, uh, we're not sure what, but it's a Roman of some kind. Um, it's still got some detail on there. 
might clean up a little bit, but wow, it's a bit uh, shot at the back of it, it's quite sharp, but awesome, nice coin, though. Right, onwards and upwards, then, yeah, mate. Yeah, looking, awesome, yeah. yeah, nice one. So something really cool has happened. As I was walking across the field with Richard to see that guy's coins, I found this little piece of amber and I thought nothing of it. I just thought it was a little piece of scrap thing. I saw it on the ground. And I just took a closer look with these guys and it turns out it's off some Roman jewellery and it's actually got a head on it. So I'm going to show you that now. So I, had, <laughs> I probably found the best find of the day that isn't metal, just walking over the field. I've got to go and get my detector now because obviously the luck's with me, right? So. Yeah, I'm going to be filming and I'm going to be detecting. This is cool. So everyone stopped metal detecting for a little while and uh, we're going to go to a raffle. Uh, Richard's got a number of prizes donated to raise a bit more money for the charity. So we're all going to have a go at the raffle. I'm going to see if I can win a really good prize. Right, first ticket is green. 86. <laughs> green, 86. I didn't win the raffle. Hi folks, so I'm sat here with Keith, who's the Managing Director of Solly's Farms Ice Creams. Um, we're here today because of the charity event, we're raising money for Martha Trust with the metal detecting. And Solly's Farms already do a tremendous amount of fundraising for Martha Trust. Um, but what we want to talk about now is just what's going on here at the farm. So, do you want to fire away Keith? Yes, well we make ice cream here on the farm, we have done for since 1985. Uh, and then three years ago we uh, had a nutty idea of just opening a little uh, ice cream parlour so you could come to the farm, see where it was made uh, and possibly leave with a, with a, you know, a little tub. Yeah. Uh, and that's taken off in a massive way now. So we now have a campsite on, uh, and a caravan park on site which is all uh, fully showered and toileted and dog friendly and, wow. and, and very, very chilled and relaxed. Yeah. We've got an ice cream parlour on site, uh, we've got nature trails. What we're trying to do is encourage the people of Deal and, and Kent to come down here spend very very little we are a business at the end of the day yeah. but very very little and just have a very cheap fun day out with their family so if you come in here and expecting us to entertain you we're not going to do that but if you yeah. want to come and you come with an open mind you can learn all about farming you can learn all about the village uh, farming life Brilliant. ice cream and it you know it's just a fun day oh that's fantastic i mean i've seen i come here with my my son i've got Good two night. sons um so my oldest frank who's six he loves the maze maze that you yeah, it, you know you. That's, yeah, just, that's big this year that's that's, yeah. that's a new thing for us and we do truck to ride as well you can probably see the truck yeah. in the background uh, we spend a lot of time going round and round and round but you know again people never get a chance to sit on this kind of machinery so it's for 50p you can come down sit on a tractor and we'll take you around and uh, if you want us to, we'll explain what's going on in the fields and what we're trying to achieve, and you know, it's just great. So, best get back to some more detecting there. 